Are we the righteous who trust God in the face of really difficult, scary circumstance? Or do we shrink back? Are we the shrinking back ones? Which are we? Verse 39, he says, but we are not among the timid ones. Which He says, we are not among the shrinking back ones on the path to destruction. But we are among the faithful ones on the path to the preservation of the soul. Are we the ones who are driven by what God says? Or are we the ones who are driven by what we see? Do we trust God? Or do we trust our own eyes and our own senses and our own thoughts? Do we see the size of the walls of Jericho and want to go back to Egypt? Do we hear about giants and get shaken? I was talking to the youth last week while we were at camp and I asked the question, I said, how many of you have ever said, you know, you've had this sense of confidence. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. And one person comes and says, well, well, here's the thing. Here's why you can't. And they begin to sow seeds of fear. And just one doubter, and you may go, hmm, yeah, forget it. Nah, you're right. That's the way the enemy works. He, God, God says, here's who you are and here's who I'm making you. And then the enemy comes along and says, nah. Don't even, where, what, nah, God's not at work. And he begins to sow, is there even a God? I mean, really? And he begins to sow these seeds of doubt. And people shrink back because he doesn't want you to become and to be who God has called you to be. In the face of sickness, persecution, suffering, and fear, who are we? Are we the trusters? Or are we the shrinking back ones? Are we the ones who shrink back and drop dead in the desert because we failed to fi- finish and follow God's word? Or do we trust and that he, he will do what he said? Because the righteous ones are the ones who live by faith, by trusting what God says. So if that's us and we are defined by trust and faith, Well, what in the world is faith? He says, well, I'll tell you. We are the trusters. What's trust? Well, trust is the evidence. It's the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things you don't see. Your circumstances, your persecution, your finances, your reports, your realities that are in front of your eyes. Those things say God has abandoned you. The land is full of giants. We can't do it. But faith says, trust says, I know that if God is pleased with us, he will certainly bring us into the land. I know, that's my evidence. I know that he is true, that he is good. Trusting God in the face of garbage circumstances. Trusting God that in the face of terrible circumstances that he is still here and that he will bring us through. I may not know what it'll look like, Right? I know, I may not know how, but I know that. I may not know when, but I know that. Spur one another on. Provoke one another to keep trusting. How? The writer says, I'll show you how. Keep running to God's word. Keep running to his presence. Keep meeting together and recall God's faithfulness and recall the stories of the fathers that have gone before us. And he illustrates, remember Abel? Abel trusted God. Remember Enoch and Noah? Remember Abraham and Isaac and on and on? He goes, by faith, Noah, when warned about events he had not seen, what did he do? He trusted. If God said the storm's coming, I'll maybe make a fool of myself and build a boat because God said so. Everybody else mocks. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called out to a place he was to receive an inheritance. He went out not knowing where he was going. Well, Abraham, I know God wants us to have faith, but he's also called us to have wisdom. No, wisdom is that if he said it, he'll do it. It's never, look, it wasn't wise to lead the people of Israel to the cul-de-sac that led them to the Red Sea. There was a different way. The Lord intentionally led them to a dead end. He led them to a dead end in Exodus so he could show Watch this. You can trust me. He leads us to these moments where we're like, this is close. So that when he comes through, we go, we can have confidence 
that he will come through. I don't know how. But he will. 